A local organization is putting on a breakfast for the community. Aaron's House helps grieving children deal with loss in their life, and now you can help too. Emily Westrup and Jared Helge are here to talk about the Common Bond Breakfast. Hope I got your names right. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah. So tell us about this event. Sure. This is uh, one of Aaron's House premier events to uh, raise not only awareness about Aaron's House, but support as well for the mission and the work we do. Uh, the event is on May 24th at the Coliseum this year. We're very excited to have a very special speaker, Austin Hatch. Uh, for those people who don't know Austin's story, he uh, miraculously survived two plane crashes in eight years, uh, tragically lost uh, his father, his mother, second mother, several siblings in that. So um, Austin's a sophomore at University of Michigan. He's going to be our uh, featured speaker and, and tell us about his amazing story and his journey. So. Yeah, and for those who know, you know, Austin, he's just so upbeat, too, so it's definitely mm -hmm. an inspiring story. Um, talking about this event overall, how did the idea get started? Um, well, it's, like, it's a fundraiser event for um, Aaron's House, so Aaron's House is completely um, run by donations. We don't charge any of the families, so we needed um, a fundraiser event, and this was just a good idea, um, a good way to get people to come out, and like you said, Austin is an amazing, I knew him. Um, when he went to my school at Canterbury. Um, and Austin is an amazing speaker, and he has such an amazing story. And so the people that will come, obviously, they'll love to listen to him, but also at the end, um, donations are welcome. Mm -hmm. so. And you talked about donations. Where will all of this money go to after the event? So like Emily indicated, um, for the services that Aaron's House provides, we don't charge any of the families uh, that come to use that. So we rely totally on events like this. Uh, support and donations from the community. So all the donations that come from this event will go directly to support Aaron's House and its mission and the, the good work that Emily and our staff and other volunteers uh, do for the community. Mm -hmm. We have several folks here at Wayne TV that volunteer for Aaron's House and, and they always speak so highly of, of the support that Aaron's House provides. What are folks in the community, um, you know, aren't going to donate but they want to still get involved and volunteer? How can they get involved? Um, there, uh, Ellen is the, um, she is the volunteer coordinator, and Ellen um, Remke? Remke? Yep. Yeah, Ellen Remke. Um, and so I, when I wanted to become a volunteer, I just came and I um, talked to her. And um, there's a short training process, but honestly, it's so worth it. Volunteering is, like, amazing. Um, I do it because I have um, experience with grief myself. Um, I was in Aaron's house, and... I understand um, that I have a, a bond of empathy with these kids because I understand what it's like to lose someone that you love, just like all the facilitators do. And um, seeing the peace that they find um, when they're just happy there, I know how much that meant to me when I found healing, so I, that's why I volunteered. Great. Well, thank you so much both for coming in. Thank Good you. luck with the event, and thank you for all that you do with Aaron's House. Yes. The Common Bond Breakfast is Tuesday, May 24th at the Memorial Coliseum. Again, Michigan basketball player Austin Hatch will be the keynote speaker. For more on the event or on Aaron's House, just head to Wayne.com. We'll be right back.